What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we are talking about queen charging single inferno towers. This is something that a lot of people don't even think to do. You assume you see a single inferno tower like this one or this one over here, and it can't be charged with your queen um, because it'll take her out too fast. But there are ways to do a queen charge at these single targeted inferno towers, and it can really open up attacks on the base. So this happens at Town Hall 13, especially because people like to use those single infernos at Town Hall 13 because the scatter shots can kind of compensate for what the multi infernos used to do. Um, but you do see it at Town Hall 12 and even 11 as well, people using those single targeted inferno towers to try to block you from charging certain regions of the base. But you can exploit that and actually charge those regions because otherwise they're typically pretty weak against queen charges. And you can see that in this space particularly, um, the expos really aren't guarding these areas very well. Um, there's not a whole lot of damage besides that single inferno. It's a lot of easy buildings for the queen to take out. And you can see here, um, the single locks onto the king. He actually walks away, which is helpful. Um, so the king will survive longer. But all you gotta do is really use one freeze. Um, which is why as a base builder, you gotta make sure you're putting a skeleton trap, other damage, an air defense in a bad location, other things to prevent the queen charge beyond just the single inferno. Because the single target inferno will do, a, you know, it'll do quite a bit to prevent queen charges, but it in itself typically isn't gonna be enough. Because um, a good attacker can make it so their queen locks on uh, pretty quickly after the inferno locks on to her and you gotta make sure you have other ways of making the queen charges difficult in those locations. You can see all the value the queen got on this attack here, just a ton of value. Um, she's gonna step up, get uh, the expo, and then the hybrid just has no resistance going through the base here. So this is a very well done attack. Um, these are coming from the uh, CWL war against Syria Paradise. They had a great war, they got a perfect war on us. Um, so we're going to focus on their attacks mostly because they really did a good job using this strategy. We'll take a look at one of our own attacks as well that did kind of a variation of this type of queen charge at the single inferno. Um, so as this one wraps up here, you can see a bunch of troops left up. There's a lot of traps obviously at the top of the base, but it doesn't matter. There's plenty of, uh, of hybrid left and uh, the queen is still alive, the royal champion. Uh, so it gets the base taken out. Nice attack. Let's take a look at some more examples of how people are queen charging the single target Inferno Tower. But first, quick intermission, let me back out here. Um, guys, if you're a viewer of the channel and a supporter, really appreciate it if you go into settings, go to more settings, scroll to the bottom uh, where you see support a creator. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit enter code and enter my code bisect, B-I-S-E-C-T, send code. And that just uh, tells Supercell you're a supporter and if you buy anything in game, it gives me a percentage of it, um, as well as some other perks. So appreciate it if you can do that. Um, no skin off your back. Uh, and if you're supporting someone else, uh, um, I guess you have a decision to make, but I appreciate everyone who's already done that. And sometimes it resets on you. So just make sure uh, if you enjoy watching the channel, you, you get that entered in game. Okay, now that that adds out of the way, um, a little bit more of this showing number three here. And as I said, you can see they did get a perfect war, which um, not easy to do, but uh, their Town Hall 13's really stepped up and got a lot of these triples. Uh, and as you can see in this video, we're gonna look at three of their attacks. So three out of five of their Town Hall 13 uh, three-star attacks used a queen charge at a single Inferno. Um, because like I said, people assume the single targeted Inferno tower means you can't queen charge that area. That's not true. Um, this base, to its credit, has quite a bit of damage covering this inferno. Um, so it wasn't necessarily like it was weak otherwise against a charge here. But uh, with, the, with the help of some rages, the queen can, can handle multiple expos on her. Really, what I like to see if you're trying to defend a queen charge, and maybe this is worth making a whole video on, um, there's, a, there's a couple different... Uh, things you want to have beyond just a lot of damage. You can see here freeze was used and the queen was lucky to get it down before she engaged the skeleton trap. So that's one thing. A skeleton trap is a great way to uh, you put it right next to your single inferno and if the queen comes, if the royal champion comes, it'll catch them, uh, it'll uh, pull their target and they'll have to get through all the skeletons 
before they target the single inferno if you place it in the correct location. So that's a strong way to defend against people coming in with their queen or even the royal champion uh, to try to take out one of your singles for cheap value. Another way is, like I said, air defenses. They are great ways to pick off healers. If the queen does not have a direct way to take them out, if they're kind of at an angle, uh, they can make it difficult for the, uh, the healers to stay out of range as the queen approaches the inferno. So you want to use those air defenses in strategic locations. Think about where the charge is going to come and put it in a location where the queen can't quite reach it, won't target it immediately, and will kind of take an angle to it, meaning the healers will kind of start to cut across into range of the air defense. And I'm sure you guys have experienced that in your own attacks where the queen maybe doesn't go in the base and as she walks past the wall, the healers come into range of an air defense. Very annoying thing and it can be used very powerfully to uh, to prevent the queen charge. And at, you know, along those lines, using seeking air mines is another great way to uh, defend it because people will try to use those test loons, but even still, um, you can take out one to two healers with those seeking air mines if they're put in locations that are difficult to slip loons into, but are likely locations for the healers to have to traverse as they follow the queen. Um, so that's a, a good way to prevent charges as well. So this one was paired with a hybrid and you can see also got the job done. One more of their attacks, then we'll switch gears and take a look at one of ours. Um, number four, uh, once again, uh, well actually this is straight hogs, no miners used in this one. You can see here a lot of value down at the bottom of the base, uh, be it a multi-inferno, the king and the queen, the uh, eagle is there as well, and um, this base is very anti-queen charge because it has singles on these locations, it has a ton of damage over here, expo scatter shots, those are all tough in, when they're you know in big congregations for the queen to take out. Then at the top you have some very uncertain pathing with the town hall and all those walls around it. So here we go, uh, you can see the tornado trap was actually down there, and that did hold up the, the queen pretty well, requiring two freezes, because this inferno was on the queen for a long time. Um, so two separate freezes had to be used, but when you think about it, um, most of these attacks are able to have two freezes for the queen charge, and often you can freeze the inferno along with like the defensive king as we kind of saw with other damage if there's an expo nearby. So these might be free spells you'd be using otherwise just to get some of the damage off your queen and instead of using a rage you use a freeze, you can kind of pair that with freezing the single inferno off your queen. So in a sense uh, you can sometimes not really have to invest any more spells than you otherwise would have because you're freezing other stuff in addition to that inferno. Um, so even though the queen was very caught up on a lot of traps and you know the defensive king, the uh, tornado, that was all down there, but really the inferno locks on, lights up, you freeze it once, has to relock on, light up again, freeze it again, and then there's a little bit of time the queen can take it out before it lights up a third time. So there's a lot of time for the queen to take it out when you think about it. Um, really the uh, part of what you have to do as a defender is make it difficult to have the queen get in range of the single inferno to the point where she can take it out. You want the uh, gap to favor the inferno, meaning the queen can't quite reach it, but it can reach her. Because obviously the inferno outranges the queen by quite a bit. So you gotta think about that as a base builder. Um, definitely a lot to think about, both attacking and defending from this video. Let's take a look at one more attack here, and let's go over to our side. Um, not a bad war from us by any stretch. We uh, had one Town Hall uh, 12 get away from us, which would have been nice to clean up if we had one more Town Hall 13 attempt. Um, otherwise, the 13s actually did a solid job having to dip a bit on the 12s, but also pulling off uh, three Town Hall 13 triples. Um, so mainly it was the Town Hall 12s that hurt us. Uh, causing a lot of dips and not as many attempts at 13v13. Now let's take a look at this one here. This is a Sui hero, so we're not seeing the uh, queen charge with any healers, but it's still coming at a single inferno because very common we see these bases where they have the little islands with the single infernos and some other defenses in them. Oftentimes a nice freeze spell, um, the use of all three of your heroes uh, not counting the Warden, obviously, King, Queen, Royal Champion, come in, can get some very good value uh, using a Sui-type 
entry. You can see, I think this base might have been hit before. The Tesla farm was out here. King takes that out. The champion started up at the 10 o'clock position around this area and um, took out several defenses before moving in and getting that uh, single inferno along with the queen. So cleared out good pathing for the Lalo and also got some critical buildings and heroes such as the defensive queen and the CC troops. Now a skeleton trap was nicely used, or a skeleton spell rather, nicely used on the champion because you don't want that royal champ up hurting your, uh, your balloons and whatnot. The uh, blimp comes in for the town hall because it's otherwise pretty isolated and because the CC has already been drawn, uh, there was no risk of drawing a lava hound or any type of ground only troops. So the yetis were used and they were able to get more value than the balloons otherwise would have because they can survive the town hall explosion at the end. But anyway, everything moves through here. Nice freeze on the scatter shot. You gotta keep those frozen uh, for a lot of the time or otherwise locked on the lava hounds. Because if they lock onto your balloons, you're gonna have some trouble with your Lalo. That's one of the, the main weaknesses of Lalo at Town Hall 13 right now, uh, in ever really, is the scatter shot locking onto your balloons because uh, they can wreak some havoc. But uh, like I said, and as this video is themed, the single Inferno uh, didn't stand much of a chance against that Sui hero because of the free spell. Um, the free spell is a very effective way to take it down um, because it has to, and don't use it too early. Don't, you know, let it lock on to your heroes. Let it start to light up and do some damage. It takes maybe three seconds before it starts to really uh, take away some hit points. So let it lock on, let it do its damage, then freeze it. Um, once it starts to do more than like an archer tower, or like a typical defense, then once the, free, uh, the freeze effect is over, you have more time before it actually lights up and does a significant amount of damage again. So use that to your advantage. Hope this video was helpful for you guys, especially Town Hall 13s. Uh, look to exploit those single infernos, and if you're a base builder, um, you know, don't take it for granted that a queen charge can't be done at a single inferno, because as you saw in this video, uh, it definitely can. That'll do it, and I will see you guys next time. Make sure to enter my creator code. One more reminder if you haven't already. Really appreciate it. Until next time, Bisectatron out.